Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here. So let's continue playing as the Ukraine and Slava Ukraini to all of you out there. Um, so right now, uh, this isn't exactly where we left off last time, but you know, whatever. I say that quite a bit in this campaign, but I told all of my men to go ahead, go crazy under Andriy Melnik. And if you can tell, my voice might be a little bit... Uh, my nose is a little bit stuffed because, well, it's very cool where I live right now. And it looks like Prague is potentially going to fall. The, the Austrians, yeah, they, they went crazy. A million Poles have died almost. 380,000 Greeks, 104,000 Albanians, almost 2 million Romanians, 50,000 Serbs. So they're actually doing the best out of this, even though they have only 9 factories. But already, 8 million Austrians have died, in which we have literally caused half of that amount. Beautiful. So, at this point, I decided to start recording this just because, as you can tell, Austria is not going to live very long, But and I've already basically decided what the peace deal is going to look like. So, here's what we're going to do. Poland will be given to Germany. I don't want to give them to Germany, but I don't think the Germans would really give up Poland to the Ukrainians, even though we are the major power in the East, and I haven't taken more and more of their territory. So, whatever. Um, next up... Uh, let's see, Hungary. I'm going to keep Hungary as a puppet. They're going to be as big of a puppet as I can possibly make them. And then I'm going to have Romania under me as well. As a puppet, of course. As make, make them as big as possible. So I don't make sure that the Turks do not get any more, really any more states. Um, concerning the Balkans. Yes, the Italians are doing well down here in Venice, but... Um, I don't know. I know Austria will go to Germany. Bohemia and... Maybe Slovakia might go to Germany. I'll get, of course, Hungary. I'm thinking I might give the upper portion of the Baltics to Germany or the Reichspact, the rest of the Reichspact. For me, I'm going to try to unite, like, create a greater Balko Union. Not like Yugoslavia, but, you know, like a huge Yugoslavia. Because I just want to unite, like, Greece as well as Aus Albania. Greece and Albania, maybe even Serbia together. Just reduce the lag and, you know, whatnot. Um, even though that's probably a terrible idea. I might end up combining Venice and two Sicilies into a regular Italy. That might be for the best. Um, I haven't really decided on that. We've lost six planes in exchange for quite a few Romanian ships. Nice. Uh, the Romanians are on their... They've already lost their last dock here. That's very good. That's actually very, very, very good. Go ahead and do that since I doubt we'll see too many more ships around here. But, you know, I could be wrong. I could be very wrong about that. But, yeah. France is doing well. Germany is still at war with the Japanese. Yeah, Romania is halfway to capitulation. Yeah, a couple of losses. We've lost not that many. Germany's lost quite a few. I mean, Germany keeps taking so many casualties to the point where if we attack them, they're probably not going to do super well. They have a lot of divisions, though. They do have a lot of divisions, but how is a German-Japanese war? Qing-German war, I should say. All right, well... They're taking most of the losses just because of the Donau Adria, Donau Adria boom, that's right. Um, Japan has lost a couple guys. And they've lost 112,000 to the Japanese in Germany. Alright. Oh, we have another tank. Good. Actually, I've not really used my tanks all in this playthrough whatsoever. Because I told them to kind of hang back and have a good time. Uh, for now, go ahead and stop attacking. It doesn't look like all your attacks are do doing great. Eh, maybe they are in some places, but... Not everywhere. Alright, so the supply still sucks. Supply really, really still sucks down here. So, I really can't move you around too much. Quite unfortunate. But, maybe I can turn the tanks up this way. Yeah, go up there, guys. Oh, some more Romanian ships. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Poland is straight up not having a good time whatsoever. Also, I did change one more of my divisions into mechanized. I have one here and I have another one. I changed the old motorized division that we had into mechanized just to see if that would be acceptable. They do get in the end quite a bit more hardness. Obviously this specific division doesn't have nearly the amount of mechanized equipment that it needs but whatever. And I'm still of course taking more German territory in exchange for a whole host of their resources. I'm trying to get as much as I can so we can take as much former Russian land as possible. Nice. So any more um stuff though. Oh wait, Republic of Austria. Oh, 
They're a republic now. They're a puppet of Germany. That's right. That's right. After the Third International fell, they became a republic. Interesting. Very interesting. Letting your guys kind of hang out, get a thing of coffee or two that I have right here with me. Having a good time. Ah, water. Good stuff. Um, yeah, just hang on, guys. We'll attack soon enough. And right now is that time. Yeah, I'm not going to push probably too hard on the Balkans just because it's not looking great down here. But, you know, that's okay. So hopefully we'll see, like, a super Germany. We'll hopefully see, like, something like a Czechoslovakia. I'm going to take Galicia and obviously integrate it. Unfortunately, there was no event for me taking and liberating Lemberg from the Austrians. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, Transylvania. Definitely not going to liberate Transylvania. Don't want that much lag. Oh, we have rocketry. Venice. Venice. Rocket engines, perhaps. Yes, please. Sorry, Germany. I'm not interested in killing off the Japanese. If anything, I'm probably going to try to backstab you. So, not today. Also, um, between this war and when I go to war with Germany, I'm going to need some time to actually make a lot of divisions. Just because... Yeah, the Reich's Pact is still pretty large. The Germans are still here. Finns, the Sweden, Norway, Germany proper. There's still a lot of soldiers here, so. Alright, I'm going to start turning this into careful just because some of these attacks, they're not going so well in some locations. Oh, but we did make an encirclement. Oh, Bucharest is encircled. Now, that's interesting. Uh, do not move. Do not move. Please do not move. Uh... Maybe I'm attacking with the wrong group of people here? Yeah, maybe I'm attacking with the wrong group of people. Um, you must hold. You have got to hold. You, three divisions, also must hold. I'm going to continue attacking them. So you can wear down some of their Austrian supplies as well. Actually, this would be a great place for my tanks. It would actually be a very, very good place for our tanks. Send these guys in, send you guys in, send you two in as well. See if you can beat up some of these guys, some of these Romanian divisions. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, they're attacking us down here, which is fine. Which is totally, totally fine. In the north, we're still doing okay. That's why I put on careful. Prague has fallen. Awesome. Vienna is probably going to be a frontline city soon enough. I don't know if I'll give anything to the Venetians. I don't know if they really deserve it. I mean, yeah, they're doing a good job now, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Can you guys do anything here? No. The battle's lost before it even really begins. Um, concerning this, though, with the Black Sea, come down to the Eastern Mediterranean now. We should protect some of our own puppets' uh, area. Oh, that's good. More logistics. That's good, because we're going to need lots and lots of that. That should help the supply, at least down here, a little bit more. It's very nice. Oh, we actually met up here. Awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. No way. No, thank you, Sweden, Norway. That wouldn't be very good for us. Austrians are starving, which is great to see. Great, great, great. Hmm. Yeah. Taking Bucharest is going to be basically impossible. Poland's almost gone. We made Warsaw a frontline city. It's very beautiful this time of year. Um, yeah, go ahead and just go and crush the Poles there. It's not going to be the first or the last time in this campaign we're going to have to crush the Poles. What the heck is going on? You're... Why are my soldiers dancing? Wait. Hold on. Wait a second. I've got a cop here. I got I gotta move my cup. Panama declared Don't tell me that Panama's Okay, Panama is Oh no 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 no. They're in the Mmm, Germany. Why'd you go to war with Panama? What did they do to you? <laughs> oh no 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 Germany, no. No, Germany, no. You're acting like a certain Mr. Critler there. You don't just go to war with whoever you can, whenever you can, whenever you want. No, 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 no. That's not bueno, man. That's not good for anybody. Oh, we've actually almost cut the Austrian army in half. That's really good. You guys are doing a great job. The enemies have almost no strength, which is amazing. I'll help these guys out here. Let's kick this back up to about balanced. In the south, we're still suffering from some supply issues, which is fine. Totally normal. Totally, 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 totally normal. Um, yeah. Do that. Oh, we split them in half. Beautiful. Beautiful. <coughs> so really, the only person we have to capitulate at this point is the Austrians. Oh, and they're attacking us. Oh, no, we're attacking them. Oh, but they're kind of attacking some of us. Interesting. 
Very nice. Well then, in the north, we seem to be doing okay. We can crush the poles probably up here. Probably. Ah, and my puppets divisions. Yeah, just make it like right here if you can. You can probably take all these Austrians and poles out to make the poles pretty darn weak. Uh, anything ship-wise going down here? No? All right. Very interesting. Yeah, a lot of losses. How many have the Venetians lost? Because they're pretty gung-ho about killing people now. Venice, how are you doing? The Serene Republic of Venice? Uh, a little less than 400,000. That's not bad. The more dead allies for us means the more potential there is for us to win a war against them. Ah, oh, beautiful. Truly beautiful. We got a lot of factories. I love this. We got a lot of factories. Which means I need some more civilian factories so I can continue to pay for things even though it looks like a lot of the factories that we want to build, we don't have any place to put them. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Um, I'm building up civilian factories just so we can trade stuff away so I can get more... Oh, we've got enough aluminum. Oh, we've got plenty enough aluminum. Uh, I could use more... Ooh, Germany. By taking Austria's mines, you can now give me more aluminum. I need to research uh, strategic bombers, though. Ooh, I need more planes, too. Give me more planes. Oh, I need more military factories. And you know what? Let's get a few runs of this going first. I don't like to build them on coastal provinces, but it looks like I have to. Not like the Navy's extremely important anyways if we're just fighting in Europe. Crimea. Uh, let's get some more steel then. See, Germany, we're trading. You give me your resources, I give you my factories, and you give me territory. I love it. Yeah, modern dreadnought. Yeah, it's good. Relatively okay-ish, I guess. I don't think they'll give up Petrograd, though. I, don't, I doubt they would. Oh, look at that. That's Poland. It looks like a little heart. A really badly deformed shaped heart, and they're dead. Beautiful. Just like how the Poles should be. Very beautiful. Cool, you guys do that. My main army can now probably... Oh, no, I don't want to focus on like that. You guys realign yourselves along this entire southern front-ish area. And then you guys will come... No, you guys will probably come up to the north, but whatever. Let's see what happens when we, when we do this. All of you guys... There's actually not very many many of you up there. Oh, oh, Warsaw's still over here. I thought that was Poland up there. Nope, this is still Poland down here. We're still fighting for Warsaw. Won't be the last time, like I said. <coughs> we are maybe running out a little bit of manpower, but that's why I'm going to create these massive puppets. So we can take and abuse their uh, manpower. And it'll be a beautiful thing. Oh, the Netherlands. The Netherlands is usually pretty good in these campaigns now, regardless of what mod it is, when they're trying to invade. Now, it doesn't mean they can hold on to their land, or hold on to their invasion space, but they're not doing ever too bad. It's really actually kind of positive to see that. Fairly positive. Oh, oh, I need more of you guys actually do stuff. Yeah. Go ahead and do that, guys. I'll get another cruiser. I'll throw you under here then. Very nice. Really, we capitulate Vienna is pretty much over then. Oh, there goes Warsaw. Warsaw. And there goes Poland. Oh, thank you for the support equipment and a few trucks uh, and some other stuff. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Very good. Poland is gone. They've lost over almost one and a half million men. Romania's lost two million. Austrians have lost over ten million. How will they recover? Hopefully they won't. Mm, good, stationing our soldiers so that we can spread out the supply usage quite a bit. Tanks, uh, it's basically over for the tanks. There's really no point to even have you here. I'm definitely going to need, need them for the coming war, but whatever. Whatever. You know, just Ukrainian things, you know? Oh, looks like there's an offensive going on right now. Yeah, I'll let my guys... I'll let the Germans cause all sorts of casualties for themselves. Seeing as the Germans... They love attacking. Ooh, Republic of Australasia. Ooh. <coughs> if I go to war with the Reichs Pact, I hope to God I don't have to kill the Republic of Australasia. I might have to. And if that happens, I'm just going to declare victory after I defeat the Germans. Because I'm not going to deal with that. But whatever. I'll just let you guys know what I'm planning right now. Hmm. You guys look okay-ish enough. Ah, yes. Fight to your last man. Vienna is the golden prize here. Beautiful. Oh, looks like really, really sad state of affairs up there. 
Um, I really don't want to attack in the south. Budapest is still, of course, still controlled by the Romanians, but hopefully not for long. Please don't give up the fight just yet, guys. You got so much to not live for. The liberation of southeastern Europe is at hand. Mmm, the coffee's definitely cooled down. We might be able to take Bucharest. Hopefully we can. But there's... Ooh, oh, hold on. I was going to say about the strength levels and stuff, but what's going on over here? Ooh, our ships have found some enemies. Some Greek ship... A Greek ship. Greek destroyer. As well as a Portuguese convoy? Huh. I think it was Portuguese. Wait, are we... Venice is attacking... Um... That's right. That's right. The Reich's Pact, most of the Reich's Pact, is at war with the Entente. Very interesting. And actually, the Reich's Pact has actually been able to mostly push out the Entente from France. That's pretty good for them. I guess that's where most of their divisions went after most of Austria has already fallen. So that's actually pretty good for them. But, let's see, Morocco's done pretty well with that... The French Republic is not looking good, especially the Moroccans are just like, no, no, no. Oh, and Sudwest Africa is having a great, good old time in Portugal, or Portuguese Angola. Hmm. It's too bad that the Reich's Pact is going to get backstabbed by themselves. By, by us, basically. Come on. Alright, you guys should have enough time to do this. Make Vienna fall. I don't, just don't destroy the important monuments there, because I like Vienna. Vienna's really cool. Okay, I said Vienna, but Romania can go bye-bye as well. Um, we still have two nukes. I keep an eye on the nukeage right now. Let's see, for you guys. You are a pretty good batch of soldiers. Now, it's probably a bad idea, but let's do it anyways. Let's actually start pushing back, taking some more of this Turkish-Bulgarian land. And, yeah, have a good time. With Romania... You know what? I'm probably going to give Romania this Turkish land that I gave basically from Bulgaria, just because I am probably going to annex Bessarabia, just because I can, because that is obviously official Ukrainian territory. Hmm, Vienna is going to be a tough nut to crack, but something tells me, Kaiser Karl, if you surrender now, I will make sure that you will not be executed. Because no one likes to see Kaiser Karl executed, that's just me. It's not cool. I'll let you be a Kaiser still, but you'll be a Kaiser under me. Awesome. What is my supply like? I need more mechanized. I need more fighters. Um, anything here? Anything here? Anything here? No, just tanks. No, thank you. I don't want to get into any unnecessary conflicts. Mm, I want more mechanized, but I need more planes as well. Keep building up factories if we can. Good, good, good. Uh, is this my... Dagestan? That would be good. Fuel is running out. But that's pretty much to be expected. We sunk two more Albanian convoys. Ooh, there's some Qing China stuff there, too. Ah, very nice. Very good, very good. Oh, this is sad. Look how sad. It's like a Vienna sausage right here. Oh, so small. <clears throat> oh, the tanks are actually in the battle. Finally, I could use some tanks. They can't pierce me. I'm fighting through... I'm fighting with low supply. With a terrible terrain. But we still doing good. We still doing good. Alright, you guys, go ahead and crush all of these fellas. The Serbs, well, the Serbs are the Serbs. Can't really complain about the Serbs too much, but just enough, man. Going to try to kill the Germans is going to be very difficult. But then again, if they just attack you like crazy, like the Austrians did to us, probably shouldn't be too bad. Greeks, how is your manpower like? Not good. Oh, and there we go. So, um, right now, I'm going to fade us out, fade us in, and I will... See you guys in just a little bit. Hello, everyone, and we are back. So, right now, you're looking at a pretty thick Ukraine, and this is the world as we see it. So, let me catch you up on speed, but first, let's talk about our focuses. So, we could actually do focuses instead of me focusing on other stuff. For example, first of all, I did embargo Germany with Ukrainian nationalists dominating the government. The time has come to put the Ukrainian people first, but taking a serious gamble for too long, our nation's economy and agricultural sector has been geared towards serving the German people at our own expense. This will end. Protectionism is the only way we can assert ourselves, and because I did that, <clears throat> excuse me, in the long run, we got plus 10% more stability, which is very, very nice, and you can see that actually I'm at war, which I'll explain in just a little bit. Next up, 
Um, anything up here? No, we already did everything in the north, but I did splendid isolation, so we got a little more or division organization. Tiny bit amount of stability, a little bit more production efficiency cap and gain uh, base stability. I'll show you the faction map mode very soon because we're no longer in the Reich's Pact. And then we did a Blue Danube, which I just kind of auto-completed just because the Russian Empire lost our province of Bessarabia in 1918. Today, many Ukrainians and other national minorities live here under the oppression of the corrupt regime in Bucharest, which, of course, Romania is now our puppet. But now is the perfect time for our freedom and self-determination to prevail in Bessarabia. We will help liberate the people in the region in which we've already done. I already did the Galician question, so if you're wondering why Lemburg, or Lviv, was not... We didn't get an event for it. It's because it's an actual focus. Galicia is the last part of the... Oh, crap. How do you pronounce this? Let me see. Let me see. It is the... I've got it here on my sheet. Ki... Kievska Rus. Kievska Rus. Kievska Rus. Kievska Rus. Which was... Or in English, what it looks like is Kiev and the Rus, but... Kievska Rus was under control of Poles and the German forces for more than 600 years. However, we are now strong enough to liberate the Ukrainians here from this terrible oppression, which we got cores on this area, which doesn't change its name, unfortunately, unfortunately, like EU4 would, but whatever. And then, of course, I'm doing Ruthenian claims. Now, the reason why I showed you this immediately is because, well, actually, I'll show you this first. This is the Reichspact. That's extremely dominant in Europe, except I left with my allies, which is very cool to see, but... The reason I showed you this now is because Germany literally just declared war on me right before I started this. So now we're at war with the Germans, our famous allies, since, well, 1936 at least. So, it's almost 1949, so this campaign's gone on for a while. And obviously Germany took out the British Reconstruction Authority, so the Brits have been kicked out once again. Uh, the French, German, Germany really, kicked out the Spanish as well as the Portuguese once again. Uh, they took a good chunk of Africa. The Entente's not dead yet, but they're working their way to there. Uh, Sard Sardinia, Piedmont has been taken out, and they're getting crushed in their islands. Um, so yeah. So regarding af the death of the Dono Edriblum, Germany released Poland, which looks really sad because Germany took Plock. Czechia, Czechia, Czechia was released. And yeah, it's like that now. Um... Since Germany declared war on me, I'm going to go to war with these guys. Anyways, uh, what? Earlier, they actually didn't... Yeah, they actually had Frederick Christian as their leader, but now I guess he died. Um, Reform the monarchy? Well, they're dead now. Um, You all... I'm not going to declare war on anyone else. But anyways, I decided to take all of former Galicia Lodomeria and annex them. I just made them cores just because... Why not? I mean, that's why I have this state transfer tool mod. Uh, I released Hungary. I want a very thick Hungary so they could take Slovakia, por portions of Austrian Hungary, I guess, but not Transylvania, stuff like that, to get as much manpower as possible, even though they really don't have any. Of course, we have Romania over here, which is out of manpower, which we have Kondranu back, which I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but whatever. We took Bessarabia, Bukovina. Uh, did take some Turkish lands away from them, just give to Greece, the Kingdom of Greece down here, or just Greece, I suppose. And we do have Yugoslavia under this blonde man, Vladimir. So, that is us right now. And since Germany literally just declared war on us, this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to be able to form a front line, because um, for some reason you can't form a massive front line for some other reasons, which I don't know why, but whatever. We'll do this, and then... My minority divisions. Oh, let's not do that. That sounds like a bad idea. Come down here and oh crap! I'm gonna have to go to war with all these guys. That's fine. Um, let's pause. We already are not at war with them. That sucks. You guys obviously were at war. We're at war. Um, I guess just do that. Why not? Um, for y'all, you have to come back up here and do. Not that. All right. Um, give me one hour. Let everyone else hold. Oh, crap. Not you. Oh, I am stupid. I am stupid. I need to do this. And actually, even that line wasn't very perfect. Uh, what? Ruthenia. Come back this way. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Cool. You, the minority ones, are down here. Can you actually do this? No, you still can't. That's fine. Just hold on for now. Don't really need to move. 
Alright, now we should be at war with all these guys. Um, good. It looks like it actually worked, except for you guys, which I don't know why I can't be at war with you. Declare war. Australasia, French Kingdom. Most of you guys are not in the war, actually. I'm gonna leave these guys where they're currently at. So, everyone in the north, realign yourselves. My tanks, just go ahead and move in this way. Also, a five tank divisions, if you didn't know. And let's see what we can do. I'm not sure why you often move around like that, but whatever. Brazil, and yeah, this is gonna be one giant fight. That's oh, do not train while we're at war. Yeah, go home, go home. French Kingdom has been called in. Well, we at least... Oh, national focus. Oh, that's not good. Well, whatever. Um, eh, Let's keep suppressing our subjects. That sounds like fun. War propaganda. Well, we don't really need it. We have a lot of war support as is, so... And... Yeah, we'll wait. The Germans will probably come railing against us eventually. We need some of this. So, Hungary. Thank you very much. Um, Hungary, thanks very much. I'm going to have to suppress you later. Greece, I'll take whatever I can get from you. I'll take whatever I can get from these guys. Uh, German East Asia will be fighting these guys eventually. Oh, yeah, that's good. Rubber, rubber-wise, yeah. Kingdom of Burma sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, and I don't want to go to War of the Entente because that's a waste of time. Yeah, you know what? This makes no sense. I'm just going to go ahead and go to war with them anyways. I'm just going to use console command. Oh, yes, man. Allow Diplo, because I'm not going to wait for these guys to screw up my line. There you go. Cool. Take that off. Very nice. And... What the hell? You know what? Are you in the war with me? Yeah, you should be. Yeah, you're not going to be able to be independent. There's a reason why I let you free of Germany's rule. Um, yeah. You're all my puppets, but you didn't come into the war. Also, I didn't release Albania. I did just give it to Greece. Um, if you hear that, that's Binky acting up. You okay, Bink? Yeah? Come on, Bink. Come on. All right, I don't know what my cat's doing, but uh, he's biting my clothes. He likes biting my clothes for some reason. Not sure why. All right, it's been that long. Let's see if we can actually do this for real. Because, my goodness, it's taking a while to do this. Awesome. It looks like we can. Cool. So, we'll mostly try to use our tanks. Um, yeah, Bink. Yeah. Yeah, Bink. Yeah, he's biting my clothes for some reason. I haven't discovered why. He likes to bite, though. He really likes to bite sometimes. Oh, look at that. German ship has fallen. Oh, which means I need y'all to do a job for me. Go ahead and do that. Good luck. Good luck, soldiers. You're going to need it. I probably need, don't need to really do the Black Sea. So we'll move you down here and do the Eastern Mediterranean. That would be glorious. If we're going to try to attack this tile... They can't really pierce. That seems to be winning. Alright, alright. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Oh, you guys could probably actually move a little bit. Be very, very careful when you do. I don't want to cause unnecessary casualties. Oh, wait a second. I need to do that first. Just, if you can... See, I don't want stuff like this where you're not, you might not win or you might not win over here. Just be a little more, a little bit more cognizant of what you're doing and how it could hurt everyone. Um, Chief of the Air Force, I guess we could might as well do that. Not like we're going to lose millions of manpower, right? Oh god, I hope so. Awesome. Bink? Bink? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, Binky, he gets in this mood and he just wants to attack things. Can't, can't really explain it. Oh, it looks like we lost tile in Yugoslavia already. Um, did you guys have this? I don't know if you did or not. Go ahead if you can, though. Um, looks like we actually got pushed up by some light tanks. Interesting. 
Yeah, those light tanks should... Oh, we can't even pierce them. I guess that would be a good reason. Go ahead and hold and just dig in. Um, Alright, guys, you don't need to do that. Oh. Do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Alright, looks like we're, we're definitely encountering some resistance. Think? Wow, I have never heard him meow that much before. Wow, he seems to be very uh, uppity right now. Wow. Uh, ooh, we found some German ships. Ooh, hospital full. Very good, very good. Um, let's get some recon. That might help. Since it is 1949. Happy 1949, everyone. It's a couple enemy ships. Great. Oh, and... You're still attacking. Why? Think you okay? You need to buy something more rough? I don't know. Uh, actually, oh, I should have built up this radar station a little bit more. It's pretty good. We can see a whole chunk of Europe. Think. Relax. Calm down. We have people watching. Uh, not bad. Yeah, obviously this part of the Eastern Front will... Actually, it's all one giant Western Front. That shouldn't be too bad. Um... You know what? Go ahead and hold. I'm going to make sure that I actually use you appropriately. Well, relatively appropriately, since someone said I should do more encirclements, so I'm like, alright, maybe I will. Uh, the supply situation isn't great over here. We could probably push, like, somewhere here, and then go like, bop, 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 bop. Awesome. Do that? Sure. Um, cool. Some more planes were shot down. Some enemy planes. Great. Just be careful, guys, of... The enemy's air force and then the enemy's navy. Doing well so far over here. Oh, and it's paused. Cool. Um, so yeah, not really much is gonna happen right now. Bank. Oh, he's a funny guy. But anyways, I wanted to show you what was going on after Germany declared war on me, and yeah. We'll have our independence soon enough. But with that in mind, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as I try to calm down Binky, and I hope you have a tremendous, tremendous day.